Hatching 100 Urban Eggs in Adopt Me to find out if the 4% chance of getting a Legendary is correct. Which means we should theoretically hatch 4 Legendaries by going and opening 100 of them. And whatever I hatch, I'm going to give away completely for free. So make sure that you like this video and subscribe. And let's find out what the first instant hatch of the Urban Egg is going to be. Can we get a Legendary? We're starting it off with a Common. The chances of a Common are 35. 5%. So it is going to be very likely that 33% of all 100, meaning 33 pets, are going to be commons. And let's hatch open the second one to find what we get. And yeah, I did not just hatch this bat dragon, we got this roach, which again is a common pet. Now this is going to cost me a ton of robux going and using instant hatches on all of these eggs, so I really do hope that this is going to be worth it and we're going to be very rich by the end of it. If not, then it's not going to look promising for me. Oh my word, we got it on the third egg. Oh my word. Did Adobe just hear me say that I'm going to spend all my robux and they're like, yeah, let's be generous and give him a billy goat on the third egg. Are you kidding me? What? Wow, I don't even need to continue. There we go. The odds are great. Honestly, it's great. So we've got one legendary already, but there's actually multiple legendaries that we can go and get out of this egg, with the most fan favorite one being a gargoyle, which obviously is what we are aiming for, since the gargoyle looks absolutely amazing and is my preferred choice of pet. So let's see if we can go and hatch a gargoyle, as that would definitely be the better option. But no, we got a little rock pigeon, which is an uncommon after going and getting a toy poodle, which was a rare. So going and hatching these should be pretty good. Hopefully we get some good legendaries to go and give away to my subscribers. Another pigeon? Oh no, we do not want to see a bunch of commons or uncommons because obviously they're not good. So let's keep hatching these and try out a myth. So one of my friends told me that if you go and hatch something, we can guarantee a gargoyle, which I'm not sure if I believe them, but we could go and test out the theory, but we did just hatch an alley cat. So in their theory, they said is that I have to teleport to the nursery. So while we're going and teleporting there, we might as well hatch one of these because we have to hatch them on the go because I have to hatch 100. So what we need to do is go and uh, hatch this. What do we get? We got another toy poodle, but what we need to do is escape this ring and I'm pretty sure you all know how to go and do this so let's just equip a random pet and a stroller all you need to do is click ride on a pet or fly and it will allow you to go and escape and voila we can now go on the top of the dome and my friend told me that if I go onto the top and use an instant hatch it will give me a gargoyle because it thinks I'm in the sky. Now, honestly, I think my friend might be full of complete garbage, but let's test their theory out. And we got an alley cat, which is an ultra rare, which is very cool because the ultra rare is actually pretty difficult to go and get. But let's go and hatch another one and see if we get a... Ooh, what is that? A leopard? Okay, so the ultra rare chances of going and getting one is at 16%. So I should theoretically end up with 16 ultra rares by the end of opening all 100 which again is very expensive, especially getting these eggs in the first place. These eggs are not easy to come by and I had to buy a hundred of them. So um, hopefully, hopefully we get something good. Let's find out. I'm hoping that we get a legendary and we got another pigeon. All right, so my friend's myth about hatching this on the top of the dome definitely is busted as this is not going and giving me any legendaries. If anything, it's making my luck even worse. We're just hatching rares and uncommons and stuff. So I'm not sure I like your theory, mister. And I think we should go and check out a second myth that players say can always go and give you a legendary to find out if that actually works. Also, I had no idea that you could just sit in these little cars that just like decorate the urban city, but let's go and hatch one while we're in this green car. Oh, someone found me. When the world did they find me? That is, that is impressive. Everyone 
has spotted my secret location. I have been discovered. And we got the fly. I think this is the worst pet you could possibly hatch. So I've tested this theory out before and surprisingly, it actually worked in my last hatching video. So if it works again, then that would literally be insane. And we got, ooh, a black kite, which is an ultra rare. The first time we're hatching a black kite today, which is amazing to see. So what we need to go and do is go and grab a sign and we're gonna write what we want. So I'm gonna say Billy Goat, okay? So we're gonna say what we want. Oh, bro, really? It doesn't allow me to type that? Okay, so we're gonna try it with a gargoyle, which I guess I don't mind because a gargoyle is better anyway. And then in the previous life hack video, all you do is you then have the pet stand on top of the text box and it sometimes gives you that pet. Now, honestly, it might just be a chance of literal luck. I'm not sure there is a scientific proven method that goes and boosts your chances of going and getting a legendary. That's why it's kind of like a myth. And we're gonna find out if these myths are hello? What just happened? That was that was crazy. I my my screen just like went all over the place. Okay, so we got a toy poodle that is definitely not a gargoyle whatsoever. So hopefully guys, we get a gargoyle soon because I need one of those gargoyles, okay? I'm feeling lucky. This is definitely gonna be the one. And we got a frog mouth. Okay, okay. Well, um, fun fact about this pet is it has a yellow mouth. <laughs> I don't know why, but it does. All right, so, so far our luck isn't going great, but we did get a legendary on our third egg. I think I used all of my luck up for the whole year. I used all of my year's luck up at once, which is uh, very annoying. So please give me another one. Imagine if I opened all 100 and I only end up with that one Billy Goat, I would be so devastated because the odds, the odds will be so sad. Also, as you can see, um, I've got a counter showing how many commons I got, how many rares I got, how many uncommons I got, all down below. I'm pretty sure you guys would have noticed. Oh, oh my word. Let's go! We just got a gargoyle, the best legendary pet to hatch out of the urban egg. There we go. Did the life hack work? I'm not really sure that it did because it did take us a couple of attempts to go and get the gargoyle, but there we go. That is the gargoyle in Adopt Me. That is very, very cool. This is like one of the coolest designed pets. Very underrated pet. Not many people um, really have this pet because obviously it's difficult to go and get. But that is kind of crazy that we did just get a second legendary. I was saying about how unlucky I have just been. And there we go, we pull out a second legendary from this, which is pretty decent. So I am happy with that very much. But can we get another one? And no, we, we just got a, a rock pigeon. Yay. Okay, so this is Mr. Santa Claus and I am gonna go and sit on Santa Claus's lap and simply ask him, can I have a gargoyle? <laughs> okay, that is all I ask for Mr. Santa. I mean, he's a very happy Santa and he is obviously, he's gonna give me what I wish for. I'm on the good list. You're gonna give me a gargoyle, right? Please, please. Let's see, we got a frog mouth. No, that is definitely not a, that is not a gargoyle. Maybe Santa just like accidentally messed up and he's gonna give it to me this time, right? Because why wouldn't he? Look how funny this Santa is, by the way. He's just, a, he's just great. And we got a, a pigeon, Santa. Come on, what, what are you playing at, bro? All I want is a gargoyle or a billy goat. I think those are the only two legendaries out of this egg, right? Is that three? Is that three legendaries? I sometimes forget. Because there are so many pets in a dummy. We just hatched an alley cat, which is an ultra rare. So it's good that we're getting more ultra rares. But we want the legendaries. And uh, we should theoretically end up with four. But any more than that is going to be great. Because it just is. Because obviously that those are the odds. You could theoretically open 100 and get zero. Or you could open 100. And if you're extremely lucky, get like 10 legendaries which would just be extremely lucky. We keep getting cats out of this. We keep getting alley cats, which are good. I like a good old alley cat, 
So that's a nice added bonus. It's turned nighttime. Maybe that's when the, the flies come out. Oh no, I wanted the nighttime to mean that we get a gargoyle because the gargoyle is like a, a little sculpture. You find them on the top of like city buildings at nighttime. They're nice and little spooky. And we got a black kite. This is a pretty underrated pet. It's very similar to the hawk, which is a legendary pet. It looks pretty similar to it, so I do see why it has some value. Okay, this is the last one that we're gonna try and hatch in this location. Then we're gonna swap and see if we get another thing and two black kites in a row. That is kind of impressive considering the odds of going and getting a black kite, but can I get three black kites in a row? Will that happen? If that happens, then I, um, I'm i gonna go crazy. So let's find out. What are we gonna get when we hatch another one? Can we possibly get three in a row? Nope, of course not. We got the roach. Oh dear. He's, we're gonna leave him on Santa Claus's lap. You can stay there, Mr. Roach, because I, uh, I don't want you. I, I'm sorry, I'm leaving you. I'm leaving you for Santa Claus. This time we're gonna go and head into the petware location and just grab ourselves our urban egg. And yeah, look how many of each thing I have right now. That is a lot of all the uh, the random common pets. I'm gonna stand on the golden throne and hope that uh, that gives me some luck. Honestly, I don't know if it will. I've got no clue. What are we gonna, oh bro. Oh no, 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 not another one. Another one, are you kidding me? Um, let's hope we, we don't get another one again, but we're gonna do it one more time on this throne and find out will that actually work. Purchase of instant hatch was successful. A pigeon. Bro, I'm going to have enough to make mega neons of all of these pets. All right, so there's this secret location that most players kind of forgot even exists. Lots of people think that this area got removed. So this is the shop where you can go and buy all of your food. You can buy like some cheese or some ham or something. Um, what do we get? We got a rare Indian leopard. But I think most players have forgotten about this one secret area. It's kind of like not discussed about. You see this fridge? Well, you can simply enter the fridge, right? I bet you guys didn't know that was possible. And we got a toy poodle. Okay, so let's go in the fridge. And yeah, walking through the fit fridge now takes you here. Honestly, I don't know why, but it does. It's such a random thing to walk through to take you to here. I I don't know why, but it does. <laughs> so there's a little life hack. And can we walk through this way? No, you can't come out of here. So it used to take you through this door, but now it takes you through the fridge. Very strange update. Let me know if you guys knew about this in the comments. Uh, this is just the location where you go and get the ladybugs. Anyway, 45 Robux down the drain to give me a roach. All of that rob. How do people find me? How in the world did people just find me? Bro, I went into the top secret location to try and hatch these and people have all located me. That is kind of insane. You guys are a good detective. I've apparently got a bodyguard. Bro, bro has like a little bodyguard on his character. That's kind of funny. All right, let's see. What will we get? What are we gonna get? Please, we've got a crowd. We wanna see this pull out a legendary and our audience sees me get a seagull. Bro, I didn't even know that was in this egg. I forgot that you could hatch that, a seagull. That's definitely interesting. All right, let's jump down this little pit because this pit always gives me the good luck. I always feel like it's magical down here. And uh, what is the pit gonna give me? Oh, it, it like fell down, it gave me a pigeon. It gave me a pigeon. I'm in the Christmas location. Let's see if that gives me some Christmassy luck. And I'm asking for Christmas for a gargoyle, of course. So maybe, just maybe there is a chance that it will go and give me a mongoose. All right, well, it's, it's at least it's cool. At least it looks nice compared to a roach. I don't want a roach ever again. I will happily take a little goose, a mongoose. Anything but, oh, anything but a fly. No, I do not want to see a fly. The only thing I want to see flying is my brand new gargoyle with its awesome wings and a fly potion. We don't want to see a fly. We also don't want to see the roaches or basically any common 
such as you. Okay, you, you're the only exception, Mr. Mongoose, of a pet that I would satisfyingly happily go and hatch. So let's go and use an instant hatch again and see if it goes and gives me any of the Christmas luck, the Christmas cheer that we're after. Oh, bro. Oh, no, what are these again? Look at my, my inventory is going to be full of them. I'm going to have so many. And uh, that's why I'm giving them away to some of you guys. Because honestly, I do not need this many of like these commons and stuff and the rares, such as the toy poodle. I mean, it would take so long to make all of those like neon or mega neon. But yeah, let's see. Bye bye Robux. Um, someone let me know how much Robux I have spent on this video in the comments. I'm sure one of you guys can calculate that um, because it's a lot of Robux, guys. So let's see. Bye bye. Bye bye instant hatch. No one else is crazy enough to, to waste their Robux like me. We got a black kite. Let's go. So yeah, people always ask me, how do I get such good pets? Um, I simply spend hundreds of dollars worth of Robux hatching them. <laughs> That's how. And we just got ourselves the Indian Leopard, which is cool. But it is not a legendary, but it is a rare. So we want ultra rares and we want legendaries, the most valuable of the two things, which are one in five should be either. Oh, let's go. Let's go. The Billy Goat. Okay. 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 We haven't had a legendary for a while. We got a Billy Goat. All right. This dude, this dude's enjoying the snow. Let's go. Okay. Very cool. So I believe we have hatched three legendaries and we are halfway through this video. Three legendaries and we're halfway through. Can we hatch two legendaries in a row? Of course not. That has happened to me before, hatching back to back legendaries. So it is 100% possible. I wonder what actually decides what is gonna turn into a legendary or not, because all of these are just, oh, no way, a gargoyle. Oh my word, let's go, bro, what, what? Okay, so we have got all four legendaries already. That's kind of crazy that we have actually managed to beat the adopt me odds. We have literally hatched four legendaries. That was so close to our back to back legendary. We got a legendary, then an uncommon, and then what do we? Oh my word, chat. Oh my word, guys. Guys, look at the chat. This isn't fake. This is real. I hatched a billy goat, and then a frog mouth, and then a gargoyle, then a billy goat. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I literally just said, how cool would it be to get a back-to-back -back legendary? And I just got that exactly. No way. How did I hatch two in a row? Basically, nearly three legendaries in a row. Are you kidding? Honestly, I think that is the luckiest I have ever been inside of Adopt Me before, but I'm going to push my luck. If I can get three legendaries in a row, I might break the world record for the most legendaries hatched in a row. And what? What? No. That's got to be a world record. That has to be a world record. How in the world has that just happened? Oh what what this is not fake there is proof you guys just saw me hatch it three legendaries in a row i was only meant to hatch four legendaries out of all 100 of these eggs and i just hatched four out of the last five as a legendary How's, how is that literally possible, chat? What? My mind is blown. Okay. I'm gonna hatch another egg. And there is physically no way possible that me going and hatching another one can give me a legendary. The odds of that happening were literally so slim. I just calculated that the odds of me hatching three legendaries in a row well, one in 15,625. One in 15,000 odds of that happening, and we captured it on video. Okay, I thought the chat just broke it, is that I hatched another legendary. Okay, 
I the streak is gone. My legendary streak. <laughs> That's literally insane. A one in fifteen thousand odds, and you guys just witnessed history. That is the luckiest thing that I think has ever happened to me in all of Roblox. Okay, even if I don't even had you any more legendaries in this video. We have still beaten the odds significantly based on how many legendaries we have just hatched, which is kind of insane. Like, I honestly don't mind if I hatch the rest of these eggs and we only get commons, for example, because I am very satisfied with how many things we have literally already hatched out of this 100 egg opening. Honestly, I don't think anyone's gonna ever beat this. If you can ever beat my score of getting three legendaries in a row then please let me know if anyone has ever beaten that three legendaries in a row instant hatches nearly four nearly four legendaries but it was it was one off from being four which is insane that is kind of crazy uh i hope hopefully i have a world record for that adopt me maybe you should like send me a little award or something that'd be kind of cool that'd be kind of awesome all right so urban egg yeah, alright, so after all that legendary streak, we are definitely actually getting what I said I wouldn't mind, which is a, a bunch of- Oh, there we go, there's an ultra. Okay, I was just saying, yeah, uh, that I wouldn't mind if I got all those comments. Obviously, I would mind. Ideally, we do want to hatch more legendaries. Imagine we get another legendary streak. That would be kind of cool. And we got- Oh, let's go! A billy goat. Oh, my word, I am on seven billy goats and four gargoyles. <gasps> no way! You guys are gonna think this is fake. This isn't. This is real. Let's go! I'm so I'm so gassed. I'm so happy. Okay. Can we get two? Alright, alright. We got an ultra rare, a legendary, then an ultra rare. Bro, I have never been so happy to open this many eggs. Normally my luck is never this good okay maybe adopt me has seen that i'm silly and spending all of my robux hatching all 100 of these and they're like yeah let's give him some good luck okay so fun fact adopt me doesn't actually give me any bonus luck for any of you guys who are gonna say oh it's because he's got a gold star adopt me literally gives me no bonus luck as much as i would 100 percent love for adopt me to do that it would be unfair and there is literally no way that Adopt Me could possibly go and give me bonus luck. So for all of you guys who are out there saying, oh, it's because he's uh, he has uh, the influencer program. I wish, I wish they gave me better luck. Then I wouldn't have to spend all my Robux buying 100 eggs and I could just hatch a legendary every time. But it simply isn't the case. So for all of you guys who are like, oh, it's because he's... Yeah, it's not true. Um, it's just, it's literally down to complete random luck. There's no skill to it. There's no, like, uh, nothing, nothing special about it. It's just that my luck was 1 in 15,000 odds of happening. And somehow, it happened to me. Which is kind of insane, alright? That we, that, that, I'm still, like, mind blown. That that has literally just happened today. Honestly, kind of insane. And we still have a bunch of eggs left, right? Like, that is insane, guys. Honestly, I came into this thinking, oh, okay, I'll end up with four legendaries by the end of this video. Um, you guys might get a little bored for hatching only four legendaries, but we literally had four in a row, which is mind-blowing, okay? So let's keep hatching these, see what we get, see what we can hatch. And we got a lovely little roach, but we don't want the roaches. So let's go and use a hatch now. Instant hatch, come on, let's go. Please, another legendary. If we get one more legendary, that would be insane, okay? Even if we just end up with one more legendary by the end of going and hatching these, that would be very, very cool. So, all right, let's go. Let's see, what are we gonna get? Give us another legendary, that would be awesome. We're on a streak of getting commons and uncommons, which is okay. I mean, that's all right. We got a streak of nearly getting all the legendaries in a row, so I guess... It is deserved that um, you get a streak of all of the uh, the oof pets, the ones that no one wants. Anyway, 
So I was standing exactly here. I'm gonna replicate it, bro. I gotta, I gotta replicate the exact location. Um, for the people who are like, oh, is there a place to always hatch a legendary? This is the spot. This is it. <laughs> this is the legendary spot. Okay. Obviously, um, I don't think there's actually proof, but hatching that many legendaries in a row does seem like pretty good odds and i'm gonna try and replicate it by standing in the exact same spot and ask for a legendary and we got an alley cat which obviously is a very cute pet but it's not the legendary kind of insane maybe tinsel will give me good luck come on tinsel give me the luck that i need for a gargoyle maybe that'd be nice and we got another alley cat two alleys in a row very cool we're not even in an alley so not sure why it's called an alley cat. I guess, I guess the alley cat likes to live in alleys. But what can we get? Can we get another one? And we got a frog mouth. All right. We have nearly 20 eggs left. All right. So theoretically, we should get at least one more legendary out of the remaining 20 eggs. But considering my odds already, um, I'm pretty sure we probably won't. Considering like how crazy this has already been. We have already beaten the odds, okay? So the chances of that happening again are very slim. But never say never because the one in 15,000 chances might just happen again. And yeah, it's, it's not gonna happen again, all right? I don't think I've ever witnessed that ever. And I, I have hatched thousands of eggs, literal thousands. You think I'm joking? I mean, I, I hatch 100 of every new egg that comes out. Oh, we haven't seen the mongoose for ages. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of cool. All right, very cool. Urban egg. Let's go. Let's see. What are we going to get? Come on. I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling generous. Um, we could give away so many legendaries. I just thought about that. I kind of just realized that I, I'm going to give away all of those for free. Bro, you guys are going to be so lucky. You're going to have a good Christmas after I give away all these pets for free. <laughs> That's going to be insane. Okay. And we got an ultra rare. Let's go. A seagull. I want to see another seagull. Please. That'd be nice. I quite like the seagull, to be fair. I am used to seeing seagulls everywhere in England. Um, also, pigeons. Uh, I think everywhere in England, you will see a pigeon. Let me know if that is the case for you. Most of you guys didn't realize that I live in England, by the way. I, I do. Um, in case any of you guys want, uh, want to know where I live. Um... Well, I'm from England. There you go. All right, instant hatch. We don't have many of these eggs left out of the 100 eggs. Out of all of my Robux being spent, it's very, very cool. But we still don't have much left. Obviously, you guys are seeing my Robux go down the drain. Hopefully, it's worth it because um, I honestly, I just hope it's worth it because this costs so much of Robux. Bit of a gamble, you know, but uh, we did get a couple legendaries. So is it worth it? Maybe, I'm not too sure. Let me know in the comments if you think I just wasted all my Robux on these eggs because realistically, I could just buy a ride potion for 100 Robux and then trade that for a legendary. But that would not give us the scientific data of going and hatching all of these. Obviously, you don't need to spend Robux to hatch these. You can go and use uh, just regular hatching techniques, which I'm sure most players do which is why um, you could buy like a ride potion and trade it for like a gargoyle or something. So realistically, if I wanted to save uh, thousands of Robux, uh, lots of money, then I could have done that. But that's not entertaining. You guys want to see me suffer. You want to see me suffer and waste all my Robux on hatching these eggs, right? That's why you guys like watching these instant hatch videos where I spend hundreds of dollars because you like to see me lose all my money. And we got a toy poodle. Okay, we're running low. Can we get one more legendary by the end of using all of these instant hatches? Let's have a look. What are we gonna get? Please don't, oh bro. Not the roaches. Not the roach. To be fair, I have enough to, like, make a mega neon roach now, which is cool. I mean, they're pretty easy to, like, age up. Commons, commons are, like, quick to make into neons, which is a, a nice bonus of being a common. And, yeah, I don't, I don't want to see any more commons. All right. So, I'm pretty sure I have five eggs left to hatch. Five eggs left. Out of those five eggs, can I get five legendaries? 
that's not happening. But can I get four legendaries out of the remaining four eggs? We know it is possible, but will it happen? Let's find out. What do we get? An ultra rare. Okay, I'm happily going to take an ultra rare anytime, any day. We only have a couple eggs left. Can we get one more final legendary to end off the video? Are we going to go and get it? Down to our final eggs, guys. Are we going to make the 100th egg be a legendary? That would be insane if that is possible. And what do we get? We got an alley cat. And this means... This is my last egg, I'm pretty sure, if I counted correctly. Can we get a legendary out of the final egg in Adopt Me? We got a frog mouth. Okay, so this is my inventory afterwards. As you can see, I have so many of these beds. That is kind of insane. I mean, obviously some of these I had before, but there we go. Let me know what of these is your favorite pet. I'm going to go and give away a bunch of these pets completely for free. So make sure you like this video and subscribe. And let me know how insane it was to hatch that many legendaries in a row. You need to see this one buck versus 100,000 buck adopt me house. I think you're going to love this video and it has the best ever house builds in adopt me. Click here to watch.